And she said, the Lord told me to tell you, you in the wilderness. I'm in the wilderness. Amen. And I'm in the wilderness. Nobody can bring me out of the wilderness but the Spirit of God. And she was telling me, God that led you in the wilderness. So this is my wilderness. Amen. So I'm saying today, y'all are in the wilderness. So when you're in the wilderness, you ain't coming out to God bring you out. Amen. amen. And I thank God, amen, as I was looking at some scriptures, amen, and God came into John 3, 16, and I was looking at a oh, hallelujah, and then we're going to get ready to pray. I want y'all to see something, amen. And, and, and uh, when God does a thing, and, and, and if it ain't going to happen, it ain't going to happen until God says something, amen. amen. And God's in control of everything. But I want y'all to see this right here, and I was looking at it. Amen. John 3, 16, verse, me, the, yeah, verse 27, I think it was. Let me get over here and read it. No, let me, I got it. Let me write it down. I got to wait down in my face so I know I'm right. Let me get to it. Amen. Pray, I want y'all to see some. John 3, 16, and verse 27. I will write 3, 16 and 27. Amen. And I like the when he said that when John answered the disciple, the Pharisees and scribe about Jesus, amen. And you know, we begin to question things and all of this, but John began to say this, and I thank God for the word. He said, John answered and said, a man can't receive nothing except it be given him from heaven. So what I'm trying to say is, God is in control of everything. Thing. Amen. 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 And it's a time and a season for everything. Amen. In my season, amen, I'm, I'm in the wilderness. In my, so this is my season of wilderness. And only if I can bring you out of it but God. Amen. But it's how you react to it. Amen. amen. Because hallelujah, when the, de hallelujah, when the devil came up to Jesus, Jesus kept the word. He said, man should not live by bread alone, but every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. So God speaks something about your life every day. Amen. amen. And I thank God today, amen, that what he perceived for me today, I'm going to get what I'm supposed to get today. Amen. And I thank God for what perceived today out of his mouth. Amen. amen. I thank God for those that's in the house. Amen. amen. I thank God for the house is full. Amen. amen. I can prophesy that. Thank you. Thank you. So this is what I want to say to you today. What your willingness you're going through, or what I think is, is not as bad as you think it is. Amen. It's bad because you don't like God to do the work in the process of you going through. Amen. Amen. So it's a little bad when I don't let him do something, Lynn. Yes. Amen. That's the key thing. I, I'm learning now. I'm quitting kicking against so much that God wants to do to me. Amen. Because it, it, it's making me grow. Amen. And I thank God for my growth yeah. today. And I thank God for y'all grow. Y'all don't realize y'all growing. Y'all growing. Y'all is full mature saints. Amen. Amen. And I'm saying today when we learn to get, oh my God, control the emotion. Yes. Amen. That's the biggest thing is getting our emotion in attack. Yes. Amen. Otherwise, you grow. Amen. You grown in the spirit. Amen. Amen. You more stronger and much wiser. Thank you, thank you. Because you understand the truth of the word. Amen. Amen. You Amen. just ain't using it. Just like Amen. I wasn't using mine. Amen. Amen. But I thank God today. Thank you. Father, we thank you right now. Thank you. By your power, by your mind, and by your authority. Father, that you are God and you change his mind. And there is no other God before you, not after you. And Father, I thank you today that by your power, Lord God, that their ears and their heart will be open today to receive the word. Because God, I learned one thing. It's the word that brings life. It's the word that brings deliverance. It's the word, oh my God, the word that sets the captives free. And Father, today I ask you, Lord God, to let the word set them free today. God, let your word come forth today within their heart heart and begin to pierce and, and give them something to think, Lord God, that you are there at all times. And Father, I thank you for the word that will come forth today out of my mouth. I'm a willing vessel. 
for your use, Lord God, and let your will be done. And Father, we're going to glorify you. We're going to magnify you. Lord, I thank you for whatever condition that I'm in now, God, is for a purpose and a reason to bring me to the place in you. And Father, I thank you for the opportunity today as I laid at your feet. And you begin to comfort me and begin to embrace me, begin to search my heart, begin to heal me from my head on down to my feet. And I'm going to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And Father, I ask you to bless every saint today in the name of Jesus and heal their hearts and their minds that they may hear the word and find you in the word and find themselves. That you will be glorified in the condition, whatever condition they're in, that they will yet glorify you in it. And you will be lifted up on high. Because you're Lord of Lord and the King of Kings. And we give you praise and we give you glory. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. Come on, let's just sing. trying to say now Lord with the message what kind of song that I need to play to get the people your, get the people mind together and so it's, it's a song of how you have an ear to listen amen, amen. praise amen. God amen so I want you to have an ear to listen amen, amen. listening real careful amen today what the message don't come forth because I saw some things in that word that hallelujah that would fit all of us. All right now. Amen. 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 To fit all of Mother Thompson. Amen. I saw myself in it. Less. Yes. I saw myself. And today, amen. I got to hear it here. Yes. What the Spirit is saying today. Amen. amen. Are you listening? I just want y'all to sit and just hear that song and don't get anywhere. Amen. I just. I'm in a teaching mood today. I ain't, I ain't no hollering. I ain't no jumping. Amen.
I just thank God I was listening this weekend. Amen. amen. And I thank God, amen, what I'm going through and other folks going through it too. Amen. amen. I praise God. Amen. So you ain't by yourself. Amen. 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 And see, today, amen, I want to show you something. Amen. In the Word. Amen. We're going to talk about denial. Amen. 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 We as people, we walk what? Amen. We walk in denial. We walk in denial so much. Amen. And I want you to see today what that's what Jesus was trying to show Peter. Amen. Some things. Amen. That Peter was steady talking and saying some things. Amen. But Jesus was showing Peter himself. Amen. Amen. And this is what he's trying to show us today that we are walking in denial. But the topic is Peter. There's some Peter is in denial. That's the topic. Peter's. The Peter's is in denial. I ain't talking about just Peter in the word. I'm talking about these Peter. Y'all Peter. Y'all Peter. Yeah. Peter's. Amen. Peter's. Peter's is is in denial. Amen. Amen. This is what Jesus was trying to show Peter. Peter, you said one thing, but you in denial. Come on now. Peter. Put that yourself, because you are. Peter. Peter. You in denial. You in denial. You said one Thing, you say one thing, but it ain't in you. But it ain't in you. So I'm going to show you today, Peter. So I'm going to show you today, Peter. What ain't in you. What ain't in you. So accept me. So accept me. What I say. What I say. I know you. I know you. Don't let the crow start crowing. Don't let the crow start crowing. Because. Because. You're going to know. You're going to know. That you are. That you are in denial. In denial. In Amen. Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Amen. We walk in, so many people are in denial. Mm -hmm. And it's sad to say. Now, I caught the revelation. Thank you, Lord. Oh, preaching and preaching, leaning, but God showed me what he was tell, trying to tell Peter. Because he knew he was going to leave Peter. But he knew he needed to tell Peter, Peter, you ain't all of that. Mm -hmm. You ain't, you don't have it all yet. And I don't want to leave you unlearned and ignorant. This is what Jesus tried to tell us. I don't want you unlearned and unignorant that you got it all together. Good children. Before I leave you, I'm going to show you you. And we do a lot of talking. Not saying that your heart not ready to do it. But when the time come up to do it, you ain't able to do it. Because there's something there that's holding you back. That you haven't grabbed hold to. And so God was showing Peter, I'm going to be in the church on you. But I got to let you see you. Come on now. Ooh, I hear the Holy God. I want to do something for you, Gertrude. But first, I got to let you see you. Go, oh, I do. Come on. Thank you, Lord. Come, Peter, was the founder, he said, up on this church, I build my church. And the gates of hell should not build against it. Peter was the foundation. Peter was calling to everything Jesus was saying. I'm going to show him. When he was in the garden of Gethsemane, he didn't talk to the other disciples. Who he talked to? Peter. Peter. So it's something that God ready to do with you. So he's going to talk directly to you. It may be three of us together. But he's going to call that one person out. Come on. So I want you to see today in the Word. Amen. John 13. Start at verse 36 and 38. I'm going to show you. Simon Peter said unto him, Lord, whither goest thou? Jesus answered him, Whether I go, thou canst not follow me now. Okay. Now I'm going to start right there, ladies. I'm in a teaching mood. Simon Peter said unto him, Lord, where 
thou go? And Peter asked the question then. Mm -hmm. When thou go, thou cannot follow. That's what Jesus told him. You can't follow me now. You can't follow him right now. But thou shalt follow me out. He was telling Peter, you can't go with me right now because I'm going to go to the cross. All right. The key point is some places you can't go. Right. Not yet. Right. <laughs> he was telling me you can't go with me right now. Sometimes we step too far fast. Mm -hmm. It ain't time for you to go nowhere yet. Mm -hmm. Alright, come on, let's see what he said. But thou shalt follow me afterwards. Mm -hmm. Peter said unto him, Lord, why cannot I follow thee now? I will lay down my life for thy sake. See what Peter said? Peter said unto him, Lord, why cannot I follow thee now? He asked him what? Question, what we do? Ask questions. We busy asking questions. questions. He, done, he shouldn't have asked him no questions. questions. Mm. Then Peter turned around and said, I will lay down my life for thy sake. Peter began to what? Rebuke, really, coming against what Jesus had already said. Mm -hmm. Now, right now, you can't do it. But what we do? Rebuke. We come against what is being said. Now, watch what he do. Jesus answered him, Will thou lay down thy life for my sake? Verily, verily, I say unto thee, the cock shall not crow till thou hast denied me thrice. Now if Peter looked at that, said he would lay his life down. Then Jesus turned around and said, will thou? Will thou? Come on now, look at that word. We do a lot of say what we will do. <laughs> look what he said. Will thou lay down thy life for my sake? Mm -hmm. So Jesus turned around asking him a question. Stuff that come up against us. At first, we said, Lord, I will. I will do it. But when something come up, then we say, no, Lord, I won't. <laughs> come. That's true. Yeah. Come on now. See, this is where God and Jesus finna show Peter where he at. So this is where I'm trying to see where he at. The, the crow, the, I mean, I'm saying crow, but the rooster didn't crow yet. Yeah. I just imagine that rooster just being in the choir. And you the rooster crow at least three times a day. But the rooster didn't crow. He said the crows. I'm going to say rooster because I, I can't get it. I'm still saying crow. I don't want to say that. The, the rooster said not crow till thou had what? Denied me. See, Jesus is giving you a sign. So when you miss it, that's when he's going to show you the sign. That's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. He'll let you go on through what you're going through. Mm -hmm. And then when you make a fool of yourself or whatever it is, mm -hmm. then the rooster go to crying. Mm -hmm. And you say, oh my God. Mm -hmm. And you have done something stupid. Mm -hmm. And you done done stupid. Then when you get through with the stupid, you say, oh my God. See, he giving Peter the sign. You going to realize it when I'm trying to tell you when that chicken crawl. Mm -hmm. Is that making yeah, some, sense. Sense. some sense? All right. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to show you. In the midst of this, how Peter began to see himself. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Because Peter's heart was told him. But Peter wasn't quite himself. The body is told God, but they ain't quite themselves. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. 
Okay, I'm gonna show you. Let's go to Matthew 26. 26. Try to go do that. We try to spend our money over do our budget by money. Then God said, Don't don't buy that right now. Amen. You know what you do, you go buy. That's right. And then you get in the debt, big debt. Mm -hmm. See, you in there what? Yeah. Denial. Yeah. Amen. It's nothing wrong with you. You stay amongst your 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 spending money. Yeah. That's you right. don't go over the spending. That's right. See, God trying to show us. All of us to survive, we got to first come out of denial. Yeah. Amen. I like the way that woman said last night. If you up, if you up, <laughs> stop being in denial. <laughs> but you dress yourself up. That's right. Amen. Come on. Amen. Your, your, <laughs> your character mm -hmm. speak better for you than your looks. Right. Yes, Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's, let's start at verse 31. I'm going to show you something. Then said Jesus unto them, All ye shall be offended because of me this night. For it is written, I will smite the shepherd, and the sheep of the flock shall be scattered abroad. Okay, now Jesus done told people what was wrong with him. Mm -hmm. He either to what? Be offended. Be offended. Be offended. Be offended. Easy to be offended. Mm -hmm. Peter was easy to be offended. Fend. Now what the body is, easy yes. to be offended. People are easy to be offended. Yes. Peter. Yes. <laughs> the Peter are easy to be offended. <laughs> I grabbed that. I said, oh my God. <laughs> People are easy to get offended. So Jesus was trying to get Peter, Peter, I will just see, that's in you. Boy, you gonna go on and do this for me. You can't be offended. You can't. Because when they come and got you, what did Peter did? Peter cut the man here. He was so easy to be in. Amen. Is y'all getting it? We are in this now. And you have folks that what about nothing? But you, your body telling me you mad at me? Mm -hmm. Come on. Yeah. When you don't talk to me, you what? Yeah. Offended. You offended. Yeah. So you what? You mad at me. Your action tell me more than you come up talking to me. That's mm -hmm. true. That's yeah. true. true. Yeah. The body, Lena, I know folks when they mad at me, I ain't got to get in your face. I can tell when you snatch your hand and you don't come up talking to me. I know dog go. Where you're mad at. Amen. So you offended. Amen. Amen. You offended. This is what was wrong with Peter. Peter was in denial. So God said, I'm going to show you, Peter, you too easy to get offended. You can't build my foundation, my church, on offense. Mm -hmm. Amen. You can't survive off of offense. Mm -hmm. He said, Offense going to come. So that's why we can't survive, Amy. Mm -hmm. We ain't getting nowhere. I'm so easy to be offended. Mm -hmm. Y'all get I said, oh my God. Mm -hmm. This is what he trying to tell me. You got to check yourself, boy. <laughs> mm -hmm. Before I leave you, because I'm coming you. Mm -hmm. I'm cutting you right now because you, you could get in the world of trouble. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to let you see you before I go leave you. Amen. Mm -hmm. I like what he said. It is written. That the what? The shepherd going to be what? 
and the shepherd of the flock shall be scattered abroad. But after I am risen again, I will go before you into Galilee. Uh huh. Now look, here come here come these Peter. Look what Peter said. Peter answered and said unto him, Though all men shall be offended because of thee. Yet will I never be offended. Now see that did Peter lie? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, we lie. Yeah. We lie. Yeah. Peter lie. Now the Creator know you more than you know yourself. <laughs> Make sense? Mm -hmm. Is it making sense? Yeah. Now, if he done told you, then this is us. Some hit you, and you know it's God. You deny that it ain't there. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, that's true. That's true. In denial. In denial. Mm -hmm. Peter answered and said to him, Now he put that other folk. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All the go to it. Everybody say, I love you, sir. And Lord, Lord. <laughs> Amen. But they, they, they in denial. Come on, y'all. Yeah. Yeah. Peters are in denial. <laughs> That's good, ain't Lena? So you know them Peters. Mm -hmm. It's an S now. It's a lot of Peters walking around here. Yeah. Brother, it's a lot of Peters. In denial. So, <coughs> not me. I'd never be offended. <laughs> he was already offended when Jesus told him. Because if he wasn't, he wouldn't have repeated what he said. And you ought to be talking to somebody, trying to tell them something. And they tell you, and they start to know all that, that. But you tell them what they ask you. Then they turn around. And get what? Offended. Because it ain't. It ain't them and shit. Yeah. In the night. In the night. Amen. Now look what Jesus had to say to Peter. Jesus said unto him, Verily I say unto thee, That this night, before the cock crow, Thou shalt deny me thrice. Mm -hmm. He gonna deny me three times. Mm -hmm. It took him three times for Peter to catch on with what Jesus was saying. Yeah. Now, Lord, yeah. um, look how long it took me to catch on. Amen. 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 Yes, Lord. How much I was walking in denial. Come on, y'all. Y'all hate to meet with y'all. Yes, Lord. I'm walking in denial. 